The night scenes for the ghost under my bed include candles or lanterns as the main light source, along with moonlight through windows when they're available. So that's what I'm testing and playing with in this video, how to make that work practically as much as possible. A lot of LED lights I'm using as sources are too bright. Right now I have that reddish glow that's supposed to be a candle. I painted down a tiny LED light I purchased. You can see here how bright the original is. So I painted it maybe a little too orange. I may try going a bit more yellow next time. Um, but regardless, they do have to be uh, dulled down to work. So the candle light is basically a tiny LED wired to a battery and it's simple and, and cheap and works really great for wrapping wires around props uh, like candles and, and keeping them hidden on the set. So I've been doing some tests, playing around, and then I need to work out other light sources like through this door. I may have to brighten that up to tone down the orange, so I'll give that a go next. So I did brighten things up a little bit. I added, you can see through the uh, the uh, window and the skylight, a little bit of blue uh, light uh, with the use of a, a gel. And I did brighten it up a little bit. I turned up the light from above. I also added a little more light through the door here to cast more shadows against the wall and so on and just kind of brighten it up to minimize the brightness of the candle uh, which I used a different LED light that I painted more with a yellowish tone. Um, it's still maybe a little bright but I think it works better uh, in this configuration. Now I'm not necessarily done. I'm going to keep playing with this as I work on all the scenes. My lighting I'm sure will change multiple times. So that's it for now. I'll just keep playing and we'll see how we end up.